Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and there's been some discussion on the psychic plane today. People are get, trying to get clearer about the notion of, of when, uh, when murder occurs on the psychic plane. And uh, the question is, how guilty is a person of murder on the psychic plane as compared to like murder on the physical plane when you actually uh, take physical action and kill a person? And so I was very unclear about this and folks were going on and on just trying to define their parameters. And so I asked for guidance about it. And uh, here's, I'll show, tell you what I found out, which is to say the most incomplete, but it's still, it's still very interesting to me. <laughs> um, what I heard is that when when people kill on the psychic plane, that the decision to kill, it, because because the universe is made of love. I'll back up a little. The universe is made of love, and so the desire to kill, uh, the the action of killing, is very close to um, to the unconscious thought thought cloud of the world. It's very close to a complete lack of awareness of the truth of reality, okay? So, so when, a, when a psychic decides to kill on the psychic plane and then acts on that decision, uh, say through like astral travel and, and bad intentions towards someone else through attempting to, to influence their subconscious mind to a heart attack or whatever, uh, when that when that person makes that decision on the astral plane, their their decision is so close to the realm of total unawareness and of deep unconscious thought that it's hard to distinguish whether the whether the decision was made and the action the subsequent action was taken as a result of the of the of the conscious free will of that person or whether it was made in the demon realm, which is like anti-matter, anti-life, anti-love, anti-joy, anti-everything, you know, anti-everything that's real, the unreal realm, okay? So, so that's what I got. I don't really know what it actually means, <laughs> except that it might be good to take conscious action in the other direction, um, pro-life, pro-love, pro-joy, you know, pro-truth, and like that. And then, and in that way, avoid that kind of a quagmire, deep, dark, subconscious, like, inclination to something that carries us far from the stream of, of true reality. So... <laughs> Then, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, so the question came up, how guilty is a person who has, who has uh, committed many murders on the, on the psychic plane? Um, so I have just two thoughts on that. One is that there is a cult in India that's called the Thuggies. I don't know if you've heard of that. And they have great psychic powers, and they use those powers for the dark, most definitely for the dark, for raping and killing and maiming and all kinds of things. You can read about it in Wikipedia. It's, it's, it's sad reading. They have a guru, and they have a group of people that follow the thuggy way of life. That's like thug, thuggy way of life with religious conviction. All right, any of you, any of you who is on the, who is a spiritual adept today and who has undertaken uh, through soul contract to clear this group of thuggies and to clear their karma in the great clearing that's taking place right now during the ascension, I have this to say. It would be better for you to cancel and annul all contracts all contracts made through any incarnations now. It's your job to get yourself through this ascension process and, and 
it will be very difficult and in fact perhaps impossible for you to do that and also fulfill these these old contracts that were made in a in a in a state of attachment most likely attachment to the outcome in past lifetimes so please please clear all your past contracts so as to fil facilitate your own ascension process and the other thing I have to say is this um, my feeling is I have three feelings about this issue of killing on the psychic plane murder on the uh, physical plane the first is that uh, in a in a court of law, it would be very difficult to approve uh, to um, to prove psychic murder. All right, and there are very few um, precedents. There, there may be some I, that I'm not aware of, but I would say that a psychic who kills on the psychic plane does so for this reason, because it is difficult to prove it in a court of law. And and so, when I view uh, killings on the psychic plane, I think of them in a different category from killings on the physical plane. I don't think about them in a legal way, because I don't believe that legal recourse is as available as for physical killings. I think of them more in a karmic way. I think that a person has created for himself a uh, a samskara through constant repetition of an act of malicious thought and injury to others that is difficult to overcome and can in fact lead to physical action in the real world which or acting out in the real world which can lead to physical consequences such as trial and imprisonment uh, and so Looking at that from a samskaric point of view, I think the next thing to do is, of course, to clear this soul wounding. And there are many blogs on my website site, and amongst the Ascension resources that, that are on my Ascension resources and counselors page. There are many uh, opportunities and, and techniques for clearing. So for those that have the heart to do so, that have, that have turned in this way towards the dark, the next thing to do is turn, t make a conscious decision to turn towards the light and to, to clear the, the soul field. All right, now, on to the second point with regard to physical killings. If things have proceeded to the point where we are acting out in the real world with physical ki killings, I think that there are t two distinctions in this time of great mental and societal case chaos. There are two distinctions that can be made. They can, these folks can be divided into two categories. One is folks that were going through mental chaos and uh, and and now realize it and have had a change of heart and have decided to go that route no, no longer and are, who are pretty sure that they are not going to fall into that trap again of acting out. Okay, the, for those people I would say turn yourselves wholeheartedly to soul clearing and let the past be the past. For people who, who have been acting out in terms of killing on the physical plane and who continue to act out, I think that at this point in time it is very important for, for society to fulfill its social contracts with regard to this kind of disregard for life. And I think that person, that person who has any concern for, for his um, family and friends and like that, and who knows who knows what is happening even though he can't do anything about it that person that person ought to consider the possibility of of seeking help and seeking a way to to stop the acting out physically to physically stop the acting out and to seek help counseling and and recovery so those are my thoughts about this heavy topic on this beautiful day absolutely beautiful day and I wish you all all sunshine and light and love take care